what is going to be the state of affairs. Dr. Ken Ashikbe is Chief Executive Officer of the Chamber of Telecommunications. Doc, you're welcome to Eyewitness News. Thank you very much. So what's the decision by telcos? Well, you know this is not a telco decision. This is the MCA implementing the policy directive from the uh, Ministry of Communication and Digitalization. So uh, at midnight, as we rightly said, those who have not uh, fully registered their SIM, they will be blocked. So as we speak yesterday, the numbers I got yesterday was about close to 9 million subscribers who would be uh, blocked. Uh, and then if you consider those on the uh, mobile money, that's about 7.4 million uh, subscribers who would also be blocked and they would not have access to their mobile money. So on the GSM side, what will happen is that you will not be able to make a call. You would not be able re to receive a call. You would not be able to send an SMS. You will also not be able to use data service. However, the NC has been magnanimous to allow, because initially we were going to delink and remove all of these numbers. But they have allowed the four, star 404 and the hash, and the star 400 hash would remain so that if you are able to get your Ghana card today, then you can dial the star 404 hash and then uh, complete your registration processes. Or you'll be able to dial the star 400 hash and then be able to check whether the status of your registration. However, this window, there is no time bar to it. The NCA could come after two days. They could come just after the next day to, uh, to say that uh, that window is closed. So it is important for all of us to take advantage of the magnanimity of the NCA to quickly get our Ghana card and then get the registration done. Uh, and then also for the 7.4 million subscribers who have about 200, over 200,000 CDs on, 200 million CDs on their wallet, when they are bought, they also would get the opportunity if they, uh, they, uh, they register to be able to get uh, their numbers back and then the historical record of their transaction. But if they don't, what then would, and the NCA decide to close the window anytime, then what they would have to do is that uh, they would have to go to their uh, mobile money operators and then there'll be a procedure that will be put where they can get their money back, but it will not be via mobile money, they will not be able to do a mobile money transaction until they regularize it. I see. So some grace period there, even though the grace period, we do not know when it will, how long it will last for. Yeah. Um, but so essentially, what it means that tonight, as of tonight, if you have money on your phone, you lose that money. You cannot make a call. You cannot send a message. You will not have data service. Nothing. But yes. the money that you expect people to be losing as of tonight is what two hundred million. So yes, those yes on the and, mobile money side is um, over two hundred million. Yes. But they will not lose that cash completely. If they go to the telco, they will get their money back. Yes, they would have to. I mean, the, the process will be put in place. And the various IDs and the various documentation you would have to give would give them access to their money. And for those who want to make calls, they cannot, but they can send um, a text message to commence processes of registration, correct? Correct. So they'll be able to do the star 404 star to be able to commence the registration and complete it. And then they will also be able to check whether their backup has been completed by dialing the 400 hash. And then also the mobile networks would also uh, retain an ability to be able to send them SMSs to remind them of uh, what they need to do to be able to get back their uh, telecommunication uh, services back. For many people, the general complaint is that they do not have the Ghana card, so they cannot register. I know that's not your problem. It's not up to you to solve that. But over the last few days, we've heard that there's a mad rush towards the deadline. How are the numbers looking? Are people still queuing in your various telco offices trying to uh, do the last minute thing or the queues have shortened? No. 
Oh, that's, that, that's the sad part of us, all of us as Ghanaians. So, you know, the tendency, you know, to wait till the very last minute. Because if you're looking at about uh, 9 million, uh, I don't know the unique numbers yet, it would definitely not be the same numbers of people who don't have their Ghana card. So within the 9 million, definitely there are the fraud tests as well. So no matter what will happen is after tomorrow, when we start hiring all of these fraud tests, you know, they, they, we, they will leave us in peace for now. They might have to use other means. Then there are people who have just not made the effort. Then there are those who genuinely, you know, so people who have applied for the Ghana card who uh, have not received it yet. There are Ghanaians who are living outside who might still have their uh, phone numbers active, they use for their mobile monies and all of that, who might not have been able to register. We have our unfortunate brothers and sisters in conflict areas like Boku and all of that. Uh, where because of the insecurity, registrations have not been done. So we have to separate them into different cohorts and be able to use the window, the limited window that has been opened for us to be able to solve the problems for these people. But for the first step, who will be happy to get them off? Unfortunately, with this particular operation, their history would also be available. So if the police wants to come for them with their CDRs and all of that, we'll be able to get it for them. And then those who have not registered to, yes, they can go to the NI. Hopefully, they will be able to get their card and then be able to register. So going forward, at least we'll have a relatively cleaner uh, same database. And then, you know, we'll be seeing what these process will want to come back again. But the basic things they've been doing in the past, now when you do them, we, because you've been properly registered, we have all your details and all of that, it will be easy for the police to be able to narrow down on you and be able to arrest some of these forces who will still want to perpetrate the sport. And also, uh, Omar, you as you know, the star 402, star 1 hash is still in operation. You can dial it and see if there are any numbers that is not you that is associated to your Ghana card, and then ask those numbers to be delinked so that we can continuously clean up uh, the database uh, that we have. Very well. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Doc.